breaking news. All Dodge Chargers, Challengers, Chrysler 300s, Dodge Magnums, all the cars are ticking time bombs. Just waiting to kill you. Okay, maybe it's not that bad, but they all do have what uh, I guess we would call a design problem um, that will affect all of them at some point if, if left uh, to go on long enough, enough miles, enough time. And it can have some real world consequences, I suppose. So we're talking about, it's gonna be primary fuel pump assembly, so it's gonna be on the driver's side. This is the back seat. No, well, there's the back seat. If you remove the back seat, fuel tank is under there. You've got your primary fuel pump assembly right here. Other side is the, the auxiliary. This is the one that actually gets the 12 volts and uh, has the, the pump module down inside its basket. And it, it does all the work, makes all the noise. Um, and I guess the design of its wiring harness connector as well as the wiring harness itself, I suppose. It's, it's not, why is this doing it? It's not good, right? So you can see up in there, uh, see how it's burned, you know, it's heated to the point of, of the plastic failing, melting, basically. Um, so that's going to be a fuel hat from this, this, this one's actually out of uh, my other charger. It's a 2014 disc car, we're looking at 2012. But um, so, I mean, obviously that is very apparent right off the bat. You know, if you were to pop that cover, you, that would be easy to spot. This one in here, you don't see anything like that, you know, visually striking. But if you were to look down in there, Let's see if I can, you can see it. Yeah, I'll get the light. Um, yeah, that one's starting to do the same thing. It's, it's that plastic is overheating, melting to the point of, uh, you know, same thing's gotta happen to it. Which for the 2014, this problem manifested itself in uh, an extreme fuel odor inside the car and actually had Gasoline pooling on top of this uh, little hat here. Uh, tried everything, changed the seals. And, but what it turned out to be is, and you can't really see it. <clears throat> what it turned out to be, this plastic uh, overheated and melted enough. Yeah, you can't really see it. Uh, you know, got weak to the point that it cracked, basically. Uh, there's a tiny little crack through there, running through the underside. So when the when the um, PCM initiated the uh, EVAP test and put the gas tank under pressure, that crack was weak enough to allow fuel vapors to vent. System detected it through a P0456 DTC. Uh, you know, uh, EVAP system leak. I think even labeled it small, whatever. Anyway, it'll, you know, it'll fail you on state inspection. Uh, so the fix ultimately was bought a whole nother fuel pump, but didn't need the whole fuel pump. It just needed a non-cracked hat. So that's what I did on that 2014. On this 2012, the symptoms are different. Um... No codes, no fuel smell or anything. So I guess it hasn't cracked. Uh, it hasn't weakened to the point of cracking. But, uh, so twice now, jumped in the car, fired it up and immediately stalled on me. And I can tell right off the bat, uh, you know, basically it starved the fuel. It ran for just a half a second and then just slowly died. Wouldn't start back up. And then if you power up the ignition without foot on the brake, you know, you should hear the fuel pump and energize those two times that it did that. I didn't hit a fuel pump energize. My 
initial thought was obviously fuel pump died or fuse blown. Checked fuses and the relays, they were good. Checked and power was making it to the wiring harness plug. But uh, what I only really learned the second time that it did it, and I did some more troubleshooting. See, not only is the fuel pump hat melted, the heat is melting it and causing issues. This wiring harness plug on this 2012, uh, there was, so when I unplugged it, there was a tiny chunk of plastic that had just kind of become lodged in there in that last pinhole, and I guess was uh, obstructing. You can kind of see there, oblong, or um, misshape in there. I guess it, it had started to obstruct the pin's ability to make a connection with the fuel pump pins. So all it ultimately took for this incident in this car was to just unplug that, plug it back in, start it right up. It's been running ever since, but it's obviously an issue. So the fix, I'm gonna need to apply the fix, which Dodge has a TSB. Uh, you can, or you can just buy a newer pump um, that comes with a new style. They've redesigned the plug and the pump will come with a pigtail. So this, these two that, that burn up are are the power and ground right next to each other. The new style, it has, you know, power and then uh, one of the fuel level sending wires from over here, they just repositioned them so it's power, not ground, you know, and then skip over one and there's the ground. So it spreads them apart. So that's, that's the fix for it, a, a new style plug on the pump hat, but then also the pump will have to come with a pigtail that you will need to install yourself by cutting, soldering in the, the replacement pigtail, and that way it'll match the plug on the fuel hat, fuel pump hat. I'm going to have to do that very soon or else I'm going to get stranded, it would appear. So anyway, that's, uh, beware, it can happen to you too.